In this video, we are going to see the summary and analysis of the poem, The Victory Drum, written by Subramanya Bharati. Subramanya Bharati was an Indian writer, that is Tamil writer. His period was between 1882 and 1921. Now let's see the biography of the poet. His full name is Chinna Swami Subramanya Bharati. He was a Tamil poet, journalist, social reformer and Indian independence activist. He is the pioneer of modern Tamil poetry. He is popularly known as Mahagavi Bharadiyar. He is considered to be one of the greatest Tamil poets of the modern era. He was born on December 11th, 1882 in Ettayaburam, Tamil Nadu, India. His original name is Subbaya. He studied in the MDT Hindu College, Tirnaveli. From a very young age, he learned music and at 11th, he learned songs. It was here that he was conferred the title of Bharati which means one blessed by Saraswati the goddess of learning. At the age of 14 he married his younger cousin Chellamal. Then he worked as a teacher in Madurai Seidubadi High School. Now it is a higher secondary school. He worked as a journalist in Swadesa Mitran and India. He was an active member of the Indian National Congress and also a freedom fighter of India. In 1908 an arrest warrant was issued against Bharati by the government of British India for his revolutionary activities and so he fled to Pondicherry to escape from them during his lifetime he was badly affected by imprisonments in 1921 he was struck by an elephant at Parthasarathi temple triplicate chennai a few months later his health deteriorated and he died on september 11 1921 He was a people's poet, great nationalist, outstanding freedom fighter and social visionary. Now let's see the text of the poem, The Victory Drum or The Drum of Victory. This poem was originally written in Tamil and was translated into English. Here on the screen we can see the Tamil and English version of this poem. Now let's see the English translation of this poem. Beat the drum of victory, beat it. beat the drum of victory the fear demon we thrashed the false good serpent we hacked and devoured its life the entire world is nectar we comprehend a vedic life we have acquired beat the drum of victory in the sunshine we bathed the lustrous nectar we relished and spurched in the night came he living beings to destroy yama trampled as we glad beat the drum of victory the crow and sparrow are our caste the extensive oceans and mountains our cluster seen in all directions is as and nobody else and as you see it dance along beat the drum of victory with this this poem ends Now let's see the image of a victory drum. This type of victory drum is mentioned by the poet in this poem. Now let's see the summary of the poem in a very detailed manner. At first we can take the first two lines of the poem. Beat the drum of victory, beat it. Beat the drum of victory. In these lines the poet asks the people to strike the victory drum very happily and joyfully. Now let's see the first stanza of the poem The fear demon we thrashed the false good serpent we hacked and devoured its life the entire world is nectar we comprehend a vedic life we have acquired beat the drum of victory In these lines the poet says that we defeated the devil of fear we chopped and destroyed the life of the false good serpent We have understood thoroughly and followed a Vedic life which is the nectar of the whole world. So the poet asks the people to strike the victory drum very happily and joyfully. Now let's see the second stanza. In the sunshine we bathe, the lustrous nectar we relished and splurged. In the night came ki, living beings to destroy. Yama trampled as we glad beat the drum of victory in these lines the poet says that we bathe in the sunlight we enjoyed and spent a lot of time in the nectar of light 
in the night yama came to destroy the living beings and he trembled as we looked angrily at him so the poet asked the people to strike the victory drum very happily and joyfully now let's see the third stanza it is the last stanza of this poem the crow and sparrow are our caste the extensive oceans and mountains our cluster seen in all directions is as and nobody else and as you see it dance along beat the drum of victory in these lines the poet says that the crow and sparrow are our caste the vast oceans and mountains are our group they are very close to us in all directions we can see as and nobody else and as you see all these dance along with them and enjoy now the poet asks the people to strike the victory drum very happily and joyfully till now we have seen the summary of the poem now let's see the analysis of the poem it's a poem consists of 14 lines it is a song of fearlessness and a clarion call to align with nature it shows the poet's boundless optimism and great fearlessness absolute universalism and divine love for nature moreover it shows the poet's idea of equality in this poem the poet asks the people to beat the drum announcing people's equality and denouncing caste creed divisions the poet bharati's philosophy is that one should live one's life truthfully selflessly without fear treating all other creations of god equals giving them due respect there is abundant humanism in his poetry he wanted everyone to enjoy nature live a joyful life driving out fear from each and every one's mind once and for all there are many exclamatory marks in the poem which show that the poet is excited and has strong feelings on the subject that is described in the poem the poet has used lexical repetitions like beat we and etc to emphasize a significant image the poet has used anaphora at the beginnings of some neighboring lines the same word beat is repeated he repeated the same word victory at the end of some neighboring stanzas and this poetic device is a kind of ephibora till now in this video we have seen the summary and analysis of the poem the victory drum written by subramanya bharati in a very detailed manner hope you would have understood it very clearly thank you for listening